Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the Lynx UG3 unboxing and installation. Unboxing. Here is the Lynx UG3 series box. In the box, there is a wire harness fix bar. Quick installation guide. OT terminals. Terminal resistor. Wall mounting plate. Plastic cover. Battery. Here are the components included in the box. Introduction of the battery. Take a look at the appearance of Lynx UG3 from different views. Length is 460 mm. Depth is 160 mm and the height is 580 mm. Compared to the previous generation, Lynx UG3 has improved size, weight, and change slash disc current. New single battery can be connected to higher power inverters. This saves the customer money. Maximum parallel connection up to 30 units. Discharge temperature data has also improved. Better adapted to temperature extremes. In low temperature mode, batteries can be heated by the back heating film to keep them working properly. New batteries equipped with packaging grade fire protection. Lynx UG3 cells have multiple protections. Installation of the inverter. Here are the main tools prepared for the installation of Lynx UG3. Lynx UG3 support floor mounting. This installation is shown with a back mount. Place the wall mounting plate horizontally on the wall and mark it with a pen. Drill the holes using a 13 mm diameter percussion drill. Ensuring a depth of approximately 65 mm. Use expansion bolts to attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Tighten the screws to secure the mounting plate to the wall. Then hang the battery on the mounting plate. Preparation and connection of battery side. Prepare two battery connecting cables. Unscrew the screws of the protective cover and remove the cover. Remove the waterproof plug. Screw the ends of the black cable onto the negative terminals of each of the two batteries. Screw the ends of the red cable onto the positive terminals of each of the two batteries. Unscrew the protective cover of the battery COM port. Plug the terminating resistor into the COM2 port of battery 2. Prepare a network cable. Install the protective cover on the network cable as shown in the video. Connect the ends of the network cable to COM1 of battery 2 and COM2 of battery 1 respectively. Next, we'll connect the ground wire. At this point, the connection between the two batteries is complete. Prepare two cables. Remove the protective cover from the inverter battery connection. Use a screwdriver to poke through the bottom waterproof plug. Connect one end of the positive cable to the positive terminal of the battery 2. Connect one end of the negative cable to the negative terminal of the battery 1. Finally, connect the inverter to battery 1 with the communication cable. Next we put the battery cover back on. Attaching the wire harness fix bar to the battery. Push the battery switch to on. Finally install the plastic cover on top of the battery. Push the battery switch. Battery is now working fine. The installation of Lynx U is completed. After the inverter is installed you can download the app for energy management. Solargo can operate the inverter with safety settings grid connection form, remote start slash stop, etc. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe training series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.